Okay, this problem is dealing with the concept of, of extreme triangles. This used to be a difficult concept on the GRE, but it's been tested so frequently that it looks like it's made it here into the, the medium set. Of course, that doesn't mean all extreme triangle questions are medium level, but these most of them used to be hard. So what we're doing with here is we have two sides of a triangle that are five and nine. We don't really know anything else about the third side except, and here's the little logic, so I'm gonna draw it out. There's the side is five, this side here is nine. Let's just make it a right triangle. If this were the case, this would be easy to find the third side. You just use the Pythagorean theorem. In the world of extreme triangles, though, we don't really worry about right triangles. We worry about the range. So what do we know about this third side here? How long could it possibly be? Well, what happens if we imagine this leg right here is a lever and we start bringing it down? What happens to this hypotenuse? Well, maybe besides random curve there. Maybe there's really not much obvious that's happening to it. So let's really take this lever here and pull it all the way down. Again, the length of the lever is still 9. Now maybe you can see that this hypotenuse is getting longer and longer. Even at this point where we almost have the lever touching the bottom, it's getting really, really long. But at what point does this cease to be a triangle? And the answer is when we have a straight line. That is when there's 5 from this point, we'll call A, to point B. And from point B here to C is 9. If this is a, a line AC, then we no longer have a triangle. So you can see that 5 plus 9, 14, is a limit. That means that this longest side here, the hypotenuse, cannot ever get to 14. It has to be just a little bit higher. It's about as skinny as I can make the triangle. And then you would draw a hypotenuse over like this. And it almost doesn't even look like a triangle anymore. But it must be less than 14. Conversely, drawing it over here, we can assume that 9 is the longest possible length. And here we'll have this AB segment. And here's 9 up here. Well, this BC, what happens when I'm bringing it down? Well, again, it's a lever, you're bringing it down, you get to this point where it's right around there, there's nine, there's point C. We know that BC is nine, so that leaves us with four. That means that this leg right here has to be a little bit longer than four because you can see if I'm reaching out here with this third leg, and with this point here, if this is the five and here's the four, that this nine leg here, this little leg, has to be just a little bit less than four. As soon as it comes all the way down here, or rather a little bit greater than four, as soon as it comes all the way down here, it's a flat line. So again, to accommodate, if we just had the four here, notice as soon as we make this a little bit longer, because this hypotenuse, this becomes greater than four. So you can't become four, you can't quite become a 14, but you can become anything in between if you're that third side of the triangle. And so there's x, we'll call x the third side of the triangle, and if you look at the answers, only two correspond to that, and that's answer choice b, which is 5, and answer choice c, which is 8.